you'll get together and meditate. And often you will meditate for things about the planet, creating love where there isn't. Some of you will actually go into prayer groups and you will pray for those who are less fortunate. Now I want to ask you a question. If you participate in any of this, let me ask you this question. What are you doing? Now there are those who will say, well, we're, we're beseeching God for intervention. Dear God, we need rain. Please do it for us. Dear God, those people need help. Please help them. This is an energy, dear one, that is a bit misdirected. Because inside you is God. <laughs> what you're really doing when you do that is exercising your own creative power that you don't know you have to create synchronicity in places you may never visit. And this is the beauty of who you are. An old soul has so much power, and I'm going to use the word power. When two or more are gathered with this kind of power, you actually can skew the curve of reality in the areas that you're looking at and asking about if you say it right. I give you a challenge. Have a prayer meeting where you verbalize affirmations that are positive together verbally <laughs> and see what happens and you don't pray and you don't hope and you don't wish and you don't ask instead you are and it is I am the affirmations must be positive and they must be as though they are already in place and you're stating that they are. You get together and you meditate to change the weather because you need rain. I want to tell you what the ancients have done. You've heard of the rain dances. And you will think, well, they're now praying to the rain god, whoever that is, to bring them rain. If you take a look at what they're doing, there's actually metaphors where it's already raining. And by the way, that's where the rain stick came from. Where they actually create the sound of rain because they know they are creating it. Because they are connected to the earth and their ancestors are connected to the earth and they are part of the system. They are entitled, therefore, to create the rain. They're not asking the gods for it. I didn't know if you knew that or not. But this is the way it works. You can control your reality by what you say and how you think. And when you do, dear human being, I promise you others will notice. They're stuck in average and you're not, then you become lucky. You get the parking spaces. <laughs> You don't catch the diseases. You get the good jobs. Good things happen to you. I want to make this clear to anybody who's listening that every single human being on the planet has this ability. You don't have to end up with humanity in a bell-shaped curve. The curve will look odd, but all of you can be in the 80%, even the 90%. This is your legacy. As humans on the planet, in an age where we are able to tell you and you can hear it and act on it, you can change yourself. Don't buy in to being average. Don't buy in to the things that you don't expect because they won't happen because you knew that would happen. <laughs> this is a different way of thinking, a different paradigm. Connect the dots we just showed you. That consciousness has power and it's energy, so use it. Go use it. Let no one leave this room average, for you can control who you are. More than your legacy, you're right, and in an energy that is listening more than it ever has, be careful what you say. Do you accidentally demean others? 
Sometimes when you're frustrated, do you complain? All of these things are heard by innate. It becomes who you are. And you become less than the mastery inside. This is the message for the evening, dear ones. It's a glorious message. Enhancing the abilities and the splendor of the human consciousness which we see developing. There is hope over the horizon. Do not count the days. For that is not the plan. Every single day of your life be 100%. That is the light that this planet needs now. I am crying in love with humanity. And rightfully so. <laughs> and so it is.